good morning. It is, oh, it's Wednesday, uh, day uh, 21. <laughs> I just got finished with my morning uh, jog run, and I am bringing you to an area where I love to run, which is Lake Hollingsworth in the home of Florida Southern College. And I have several uh, pen pals that enjoy architecture and have asked me a little more about this area. So I think I'm going to walk around and show you some uh, snippets. This is the largest um, collection of buildings designed by Flank, Frank Lloyd Wright and it's a college and there are multiple buildings here and in the background this is what's called the esplanades and it's the walkways that connect all the buildings. So hope you enjoy. run and all showered up and I thought I'd take a minute just to chat. Uh, this is my third week doing YouTube and I already have questions from people and first of all I wanted to just say if you've been watching my videos thank you so much. I, you cannot know how much it means to me. Um, this is definitely a project for me to learn something new and I have been receiving your messages on Facebook and Instagram and in your letters and also even it on YouTube and I cannot tell you how much they mean to me. Um, life happens to all of us and this has been a very challenging year and I have always believed that when uh, you're faced with something difficult you you dive in to something new and you just learn something totally new and the the videos and the YouTube and the filming and the editing it's um, not easy uh, and I certainly don't like putting my face in front of the camera um, but it's been a very rewarding um, learning experience for me and I'm, I'm happy to answer your questions and I thank you for sending me uh, your feedback and your questions. So let's get started. The biggest question I get from people is how to get started in snail mail, letter writing, and how to get a pen pal. I'm going to quickly share my experience with you uh, and hopefully it will inspire you. Um, and I apologize for the glare. Uh, anyway, a couple years ago, I was I was doing a wellness challenge, and each week we did something fun in addition to the fitness and the diet challenges. And one week we had to send out uh, five pieces of mail randomly to people that we knew just to tell them how much they meant to us and, um, you know, just to do something nice. And I sent those out into the universe, had no idea I would receive anything back. And my lovely aunt in Virginia, who I had not seen in a while, I had no idea that she liked letters and stationery, but she sent me the most beautiful response letter on gorgeous stationery. Her handwriting was lovely and just told me how much my letter meant to her. And um, it was then that I realized that something that cost less than a dollar could mean so much to other people. And I decided to take it further. Now, I am an engineer and it is very normal for me to assign projects to myself. I realize that's not normal and it's weird to most people, but 
um, those that know me know that I do this, so just bear with me on this. So I did assign myself a project to uh, send out 100 pieces of mail over the course of four months just to see what would happen. Ooh. Uh, and I did that. Now, I limited that to friends and family. I posted this project that I was doing on Facebook. I let people know just to get a feel if anyone was interested. And um, people did contact me and they gave me their addresses and uh, I sent out my 100 pieces of mail. Now, I was not expecting to receive anything in return. Um, but I will say I got about 40 pieces of mail back and it was so much fun. People sent me postcards while they were on vacation. Um, people that I least expected that would be interested in mail were interested in mail. Like some of the, the very busy professional people in my life that I didn't think would have time to do such things. It turns out they were really interested in this as well. Um, and I, I enjoyed it so much that I decided to find others that were like me. And I thought I was weird all this time with my love of paper and stationery and pens and things like that. But no, there is a whole world of people just like me out there. And so I had to find them. <laughs> now, the first thing I did, and I always recommend this as an easy way to get started if you wanna go outside of your friends and family, is post crossing. That's the first thing I signed up for. It's a free website. You can exchange postcards with people all over the world and I've had very good luck with that. And once I was comfortable with sharing mail with people I did not know, um, I moved on to researching pen pal groups and there are a lot of them out there. And some of them weren't for me and then that's fine. But I always, always recommend uh, Letter Writers Alliance. Now you have to pay to be in that group. It's, I think it's less than $20, but you get two pen pals with your membership and you can, you can say what age range, you know, if you just want to write to women of your same age group, that, and that's what I did. And I started writing to two ladies who are just phenomenal. I mean, one of them is very artsy and sends me the most amazing things in the mail and the other one is very much into her paper and her pens and that sort of thing and just would write the most beautiful page, you know, multi-page letters. Um, a great writer. Uh, so in joining Letter Writers Alliance, I started to learn more about what was happening on Instagram because a lot of people in Letter Writers Alliance will um, post on Instagram and use the hashtag write more letters or hashtag letter writers alliance and from doing that I started to meet more people that were in letter writers alliance and people would send me you know direct messages on Instagram and we would you know decide to be pen pals that way and now I have about eight people that I write regularly it's amazing I receive some of the most wonderful things in the mail uh, that being said, now, um, so I recommend Post Crossing and I recommend Letter Writers Alliance. As far as the Instagram, you do need to be careful. It is extremely overwhelming and there are a lot of young people, uh, which is fine, on Instagram using the, the hashtag snail mail or pen pal or things like that. And you can find pen pals that way. It's, it's very easy. But I have a lot of moms that want their kids to start letter writing because they want to practice their handwriting. And I do tell them to make sure you are on top of that Instagram because you know you don't want your kids just giving out addresses. Now I got a PO box just to be safe and I wasn't really sure what I was getting into. Um, I've had very good luck, um, but um, just make sure um, you know what they're doing. The other thing that happens regularly on Instagram is those of us in the snail mail world, we love to share photographs of our mail and our mail art and things like that, but uh, most people know that you have to ha hide the addresses, okay? But there are some people they get so excited and they take pictures of mail when they get mail and there's an address for the whole world to see. So I I do encourage people to get a P.O. box, especially when children are involved or you need, you just need to stay on top of it. Now, I do have several uh, mothers when I do letter writer uh, workshops 
that ask me to be pen pals with their kids and it's, it's usually like one or two letters but I, they have to give me permission to do that and, I, and I'm happy to do it so um, yeah so to just be aware of what's going on out there but that that's really how I got into it and uh, I've been having a blast I now do letter writing workshops at our local library and I'm going to be doing my first workshop for some kids in November. I'm looking forward to that. It's a lot of fun. Letter writing is just a great way for kids uh, to practice their handwriting. I have a lot of homeschool moms that want their children to learn cursive writing and letter writing. And so they're big into the letter writing world. Um, the second question that I've been receiving is how do I get started with the Midori notebooks? Um, I don't want this video, video to be too long, but here's what I always suggest. Before you buy everything, the leather wrap and a bunch of inserts, uh, that can be pricey. What I did is I just picked up a couple of different types of inserts. There's so many, and this is really your personal preference, okay? And the individual inserts can run, here in the States, they're like 6 to $8, I think. And... There are several different versions. There's clear paper, I mean white paper, there's craft paper, there's lawn paper, there's grid paper, there's half grid paper, half diary, planners, you name it. Uh, Midori just nails it all. And I um, choose to use grid paper. I have this weird, weird need for grid paper and it's because I went to engineering school and in engineering school we had to write everything on grid paper and I find grid paper to be very freeing. Line paper to me uh, restricts me. It makes me feel like I have to write from left to right, top to bottom. I don't know why, it's just the wiring in my brain. Some people love line paper. Uh, some people find white blank paper to be very intimidating. Other people do not. I like the white blank paper to do the smash booking that I do about once a month. But the grid paper is usually what I go for. Um, but if I were you, I'd just order maybe one or two little inserts and uh, decide how you want to use the notebook in your world. I'm going to have some more videos with other um, suggestions on how to use them. Um, but there's, there's tons of information on the internet. Um, you can see how all types of people are using their Midori. And again, I... I uh, send you to Instagram and just look at the hashtag Midori Traveler's Notebook or Traveler's Notebook and there's tons of photos of how people are using these uh, these notebooks. So I hope hope that helps. Okay, thank you. Roast chicken for dinner because I needed comfort food. The house smells amazing. And there's some cute dogs.